Lewis Hamilton said, his Mercedes deficit in Jetta's high-speed corners made him feel like he was in a different category altogether compared to his rivals in Saturday's Saudi Arabian GP. Hamilton told Sky F1, the car is relatively good in the low speed and not so bad in the medium but in the high speed we are miles off. Lewis Hamilton admitted that it's frustrating for sure to be three years in a row in almost the same position, it's definitely tough. The bouncing trait were the main cause for the W15's instability in fast corners said Mercedes trackside engineering director Andrew Shovlin. Former Red Bull driver David Coulthard believes that Lewis Hamilton is already mentally at Ferrari after a disappointing start to the 2024 campaign. Lewis Hamilton was spotted chatting with future teammate Charles Leclerc during the pre-race driver parade and had multiple conversations with Carlos Sainz's stand-in bearman throughout the weekend. Hamilton endured some close moments throughout the weekend notably narrowly avoiding the wall after a big snap of oversteer in FP2. In qualifying Lewis ended up 8th on the grid locking out the 4th row with teammate George Russell in 7th. Hamilton talking to F1 reporter said we've tried every setup change, we can't get rid of it, it's difficult to explain it. We had some bouncing in Bahrain but nowhere near as intense as at Saudi Arabia. The first sector is super high speed, a lot of yaw in the car, and a lot of lateral loads, and the bouncing really offsets the car quite a bit. Imagine when the car goes up and down in the back, your balance shifts forward and rearwards. If you're doing that at 170 miles per hour, correcting that each time, you know. The others, Max is flat through turn 678, and the balance is just stable and that's what we're working towards he said. But let's not kid ourselves here if Hamilton thought that Mercedes could fix the car why would he leave for Ferrari? Lewis's actions speak louder than words. He clearly knows Mercedes are never going to fix those issues that's why he joined Ferrari. So, Lewis Hamilton should stop gaslighting everyone into thinking Mercedes will be competing at the top anytime soon.